Hi, I'm Anna Hazard, and I play Lydia in Red Speedo. Um, I, my name is Rory Sheridan. I'm playing Coach. Uh, I'm Jared Erland, and I play Peter. Hi, I'm Nick Potch, and I'm playing Ray. Hi, I'm Tara Williams, and I am the director of Red Speedo. At the top of the show, he discovers that one of his swimmers has been using performance-enhancing drugs. The show is about Ray, who is an Olympic swimmer, and he's on the verge of getting, winning his biggest race. Um, Peter is his brother, who uh, in a lot of ways um, is transitioning from that uh, kind of family role to a more professional role as his agent. And so it's interesting to see them kind of navigate that transition. It's a, it gets to the heart of what we're willing to do anything for. Ah, uh, wow. This show, for one thing, uh, I've been waiting to do this for about two years. We kept pushing it because of COVID, of course. Um, Falcon did a couple of theater for film projects uh, last season, but we didn't feel like this was a show that would work well that way, and we really wanted to be able to have the pool and the natatorium feeling right here for the audience, so I'm really excited to finally dive into it. Um, Red Speedo really looks at relationships uh, of all kinds. It looks at what it means to win at all costs. Um, what does it mean to give 110% uh, and should we? Everyone should come see Red Speedo. It's a quick play. It's under an hour and a half. People should come see the show because um, it's uh, really funny, but also really poignant. Um, we've got a little bit of uh, danger and adventure. We've got some humor. We've got sarcasm. We've got romance. Um, it's a great cast um, and uh, interesting characters. And I think it asks some interesting questions by the end. It's a good story about at what cost do we win? Do we want to win? Uh, what's it all worth? People should come and see the show because it is exhilarating. You get hooked from the first minute. Um, this sort of new, I think, feeling with speech patterns in theater, uh, Lucas Hanath has written that into this, and it's really quippy and quick, and you really have to listen. It really hooks you in and makes you pay attention. It's a great script, rapid fire, really great language, and it's four awesome actors. It's a no-brainer.